My name is Bjarke Ingels and I am an architect and I'm the founder of uh, Bjarke Ingels Group or simply BIG. One of the sort of boring things about being an architect is that uh, we're always working with the same rules. One thing that can really make it exciting to be an architect is if you could change some of the fundamentals and that actually is possible when you start designing for creating uh, buildings or cities on another planet. And for instance, we've been working a lot lately on imagining what would our cities and buildings look like when we are going to be living on Mars. And just to make a few uh, sort of ideas about what's amazing for, from an architect's point of view about working on Mars, for instance, like 38% of the gravity that we have on uh, Earth, which means that something that weighs 100 kilos on Earth will only weigh 38 kilos uh, on Mars. So that means that all of the materials we know, like steel, concrete, carbon fiber, can suddenly carry much more because everything is lighter. So beams can span longer, cantilevers can be more extreme. So even working with all the same ingredients, those ingredients are gonna have completely different possibilities on Mars. Another thing that's exciting about Mars is that its atmosphere is so thin. It's 1% of the atmosphere we have here on Earth. So that means that if we create a pressurized environment, the load-bearing capacity of that pressure means that suddenly we can actually uh, carry really, really heavy structures just on the density of the air that we need anyway in order to breathe. So again, we can imagine like gigantic indoor environments, maybe with uh, transparent membranes, that would be impossible to engineer or build on Earth, becoming very easy and simple to manufacture on Mars. So of course, Mars comes with a lot of challenges. Uh, there's no air to breathe. There's a little bit too much radiation. It gets very cold. So we have to solve much more difficult problems than we have uh, here on Earth. But we also have like really unique uh, uh, possibilities because uh, the physics uh, are going to be different. So in that sense, uh, Mars, is going to be the first chapter in, uh, in this sort of explosion of architectural forms that uh, are completely unimaginable on, on Earth, but are going to become reality on other planets. And once we discover those things that we can then bring back to our old planet, and that again could radically uh, transform how we actually live and build on this planet today.